and as you can see, I just came back from watching the new Halloween movie, Halloween. They they really they didn't really call it anything specific. They just called it Halloween. I really wish they would have called it something else, like 2018 or 40 years later. I think that would just be a lot better. But we will not be ranking Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, because I don't... I know uh, quite a bit about it. Never watched it, but I do know a lot about it. But it just doesn't tie in with Halloween that much, and I really don't understand why John Carpenter made it. Um, so... Um... I have mixed opinions since my first video about worst to best Halloween films. Uh, definitely, it's been two years since I made the, the other one, and I definitely have changed opinions on it. Um, so yeah, we're going to be re-ranking all the films uh, from worst to best. And so there's going to be 10 films we're going to be ranking because we're not going to be counting uh, Halloween 3. Um <clears throat> So, let's start out with number 10, and that's going to be, I still have the same opinions on some of these, and number 10 is still going to be Halloween 2, Rob Zombie's remake. I actually watched this, like, a couple of weeks, actually about a week ago, um, and I really did try to focus on everything about this film, and now that I've watched the full thing, I just haven't seen bits and pieces of each, each of it. I've, like, watched the whole thing, and I'm like... Yeah, this is okay. This is what's going on. And I tried to focus on each scene. I kind of get what it's about now. And Rob Zombie, you know, I can't offend Rob Zombie because Rob Zombie tried to make it his own way. He he was trying to make it, you know, he was trying to make Michael Myers a lot scarier than he was. And I don't think that's what Rob Zombie should have done because you don't have to explain how evil somebody is just by putting in a bunch of blood and violence. And that's why Halloween, the first one, was so good because they they didn't even have to show how evil with, he was without blood and violence. And I think that's why people didn't like Rob Zombie's remakes. And I really think Rob Zombie should understand why. Because it, there, you don't have to explain. And this one was even more violent than the first Halloween remake. But you don't have to explain how evil he is uh, just by blood and violence. And Lori in this one, she just was screaming way too much. She was too freaked out. Um, which I get that because she just went through a, a sequence of events that were just terrible. And she, she's been through a lot of stuff. Um, but she was just too freaky, too psycho. And the ending was horrible. Michael Myers' mother comes into, I don't know what, looked like a hospital or something... And then, you know, Lori's just looking up and she's like, uh, face smiling. And the ending where Michael Myers is just shot into bits and pieces. And Michael Myers talks in this one. His face is totally, totally revealed. Um, and I don't know how Tyler Maine got like a, well, I guess they could have used, yeah, they probably used makeup and everything. But Tyler Maine just changed so much, uh, for only two years. He just changed so much, um, and, yeah, I don't think, you know, Michael Myers was pretty strong in this one. I mean, he slammed people down in one, like, hit. And this was the, this would be the Michael Myers I'd definitely be freaked out by. But just too much show of, like, face reveal. Michael Myers looked horrible without his mask. Um, the mask was all ripped up. The mask looks good, but it was just all ripped up. Too, too much face reveal. Uh, he actually talked, he didn't, you know, he didn't, wasn't, like, speaking words, but he's like, die, die, to Dr. Loomis, um, but I, I liked Malcolm O'Dowell as, um, Michael, or, uh, Dr. Loomis, I think, I think Malcolm O'Dowell, I can't say he was better than Donald Pleasant, but he played pretty good, so, anyways, let's just get on to number nine, and that is gonna be Halloween H2O, so, normally, I'd put the remakes at the bottom, but I think that I've, mixed opinions on H2O now, and that's why it's one of the worst, in my opinion. I really don't see how Michael Myers is scary in this one. Yes, Lori is hallucinating all the time about Michael Myers in the mirror and everything, but he just wasn't scary in this one. Like, his eyes were showing. He didn't even do very good kills. 
um, like he, de like you could definitely see the he was a silly serial killer in this one because like he was um, he he put the one dude in the elevator and then the other girl was just hanging. But none of the kills were really good. Michael Myers wasn't scary, um, and I really don't like how Michael Myers um, had to wait so long to come back and. You'll see what I'm going to say about Halloween 2018. So, if you're at this point into the video, I strongly suggest that you, uh, it's a huge spoiler alert, um, on Halloween 2018. You could probably just skip that part, um, just, yeah, just skip the whole Halloween 2018 part if you want to, because I, I, I totally get that. Um... So, yeah, huge spoiler, um, I just watched it, and I already have mixed opinions on each of the films, but yeah, Halloween H2O, he just wasn't scary, um, the kills weren't good, Lori was strong, she was smart, you know, there, there was a lot of smart characters in this one, but it was just, it just wasn't scary at all, um, and, like, like I said about Halloween, uh, Rob Zombie's remake, you don't have to show Michael being evil with blood and violence, but this one shows that, you know, Michael isn't very scary at all. Um, th there was blood and everything, but he just wasn't scary. And the mask was changing dramatically in this movie. Um, like, you know, he's wearing this weird mask in the beginning and parts... And then when Lori gets up to bring her gun to try to shoot Michael in the face, then he has like this completely different mask on. And I'm like, what is going on? So the masks changed a little, slightly bit in like each scene. Um, but in the other ones, they didn't. So I, I really don't get why. But number number um, eight <clears throat> is going to be Halloween Rob Zombie, the first remake. I definitely, definitely, definitely think this was way better than the Halloween 2 Rob Zombies remake. The mask was actually good in my opinion. I really thought that the rotted up mask and everything was a lot better than a mask that was all ripped up and showing his face holes because he didn't even wear the mask much in the movie anyway. Um, but in this one, he, he wore it um, in a lot of scenes. But the thing is, Michael Myers was so violent and I talked about Rob Zombie, and it's, he has the same concept in this one, Michael Myers was so violent in this one yet, but at the ending when, uh, Malcolm McDowell or Dr. Loomis, you know, he bought that revolver from the shop, then he starts shooting him down, then you kind of see the weak side of Michael, um, in this one, he, he's so violent in the movie, but yet he's kind of weak when he gets shot in, uh, Dr. Loomis, but I do get it's a remake, and Michael Myers isn't quite, he gets more durable throughout the films is what I'm trying to say. And he's still pretty young. Um, he, he, Cause he, Michael Myers was, is supposedly in his twenties in the first Halloween film. So I get, he's not that durable, but he's so violent yet. But if he gets shot or anything in this one, he's like taken down pretty easily. But I really think Rob Zombie should have not focused on such of that violence and in this one, another bad thing was not just uh, Halloween Rob Zombie didn't really have as bad as the dialogue in Halloween Rob Zombie's uh, first remake. The dialogue was just terrible in this one. I mean, every five seconds you just have somebody cursing, um, especially in the first 30 minutes when they show uh, Michael Myers' childhood. There's just so much bad dialogue uh, between the kid, and you can definitely see how much tormented Michael was, uh, which I do like that they would show his childhood, but there's just so much bad dialogue, and I hate it. Uh, so, let's go on to number seven, and that's going to be Halloween Resurrection. I thought, I felt this was good. Um, it wasn't terrible, but I really liked the resurrection part. Um, Michael Myers, you know, he gets resurrected, um, <clears throat> but I don't get why they call it resurrection when it wasn't Michael Myers. He, Michael Myers didn't technically get resurrected when he switched bodies with other people. And I don't like how that worked, like how Michael Myers switched bodies with someone 
and then the other guy just didn't talk. Like, the, I think the other guy would have talked um, to Lori and would have said, hey, th this is me, you know, um, b but it's, it's kind of stupid how he came back. I liked that he come back, but it was stupid that he came back. And they never, ever made a sequel for Halloween Resurrection. They s just sticked with the ending, him waking up. And that's the one thing I don't like about Halloween is that they make <clears throat> so many different sequences of Michael Myers um, just coming back, but they, then they never make anything else uh, after that. It's just always Michael Myers just... Um, coming back at the very ending of the film, and then nothing after that. <clears throat> so, yeah, Halloween Resurrection, good kills and all. Um, you know, there wasn't very bad dialogue or anything, and I really did like, I forgot what his name, but the guy who beat up Michael Myers, uh, Buster Rhymes. Yeah, Buster Rhymes. I did like him as a character, but him just karate chopping him and everything, um... <clears throat> on uh, Michael Myers, which just w wasn't a very good scene, and I don't think it was, um, I, I just don't think it made any sense. Like, Michael Myers is stronger than that. And then Michael Myers also switching, like, uh, switching um, places with that clown at the very beginning of the movie. Uh, and he also killed Lori in this one. But yeah, ha there's just too much stuff to say about Halloween Resurrection. Uh, it was enjoyable and all, um, I don't watch it a lot, but, yeah, I just, I didn't enjoy it, I'd say, but it wasn't terrible at the same time, um, but there's too much to put into Halloween Resurrection, um, we'll just get on to number six. Number six is going to be Halloween Six, The Curse of Michael Myers. A lot of people didn't like this one, mainly because Michael Myers brought into a cult of thorn. I actually liked how they did that. Because then you can see where Michael Myers actually got his evil from. And I really felt that after watching Halloween 6 and learning that he's from this kind of cult, I really felt how much stronger he was. Because cults are fairly, very, very strong. And, um, uh, yeah, they're v cults are very strong. And I felt how Michael Myers was just really, really strong in this one. But other than that, um, didn't enjoy this movie. Uh, the kills were still a little violent. Not as violent as the Halloween uh, Rob Zombies, but they were still pretty violent. Um, Michael Myers was beat up a lot at the ending of this movie. I mean, he was just busted with that uh, pipe iron uh, so many times at the ending of the movie. Um, but Michael Myers might have still been a little too violent in this one. Um, but other than that, I like the Cult of Thorn thing. Not all the time do I like it, but I, at the same time, I do. Um, some parts didn't make sense to me, like the dude just finding the baby somehow. Um, I don't know. Like, Halloween 6 was okay. Never enjoyed it, really. Um, but Michael Myers did look pretty good. The mask looked pretty good in, in the film. Um... He was a little buff in this one for some reason, but otherwise, I, I can't say much about this one. It just, I didn't enjoy it. Um, some parts I liked about it, but I just didn't enjoy it. Dr. Loomis, you didn't get to see much of him in this one, and yeah, we'll, we'll just get on to number um, five, and that's going to be Halloween five. So Halloween five, and I want you to prepare you because... Coming up very, very soon, I'm going to be talking about the new Halloween 2018 film. So if you are at this point and you haven't watched it, I'd recommend skipping it or something. Uh, but let's let's talk about Halloween 5. I have mixed opinions from two years from now on this one. And I just don't like when they face reveal Michael Myers in the films. And they did. You know, they never show his eyes or really much of his facial features in this one. But I just don't like when Michael Myers wants to just take off his mask because a little girl is like, um, can I see? Or this? And I don't like when Michael Myers gets outsmarted like that. It, it just... I don't like seeing the weaker side of him. I like seeing the stronger side of him, but not too violent. Um, but, yeah, I, I like the kills in this one. 
Uh, he used some pretty interesting weapons. He didn't just use the knife. He used pitchforks, uh, farming tools, um, and other cool weapons. Um, Jamie in this one was just too... Oh my god, I liked her a lot better in Return of Michael Myers, but in this one, she she's always talking to um, somebody, and she's always like, she can't even talk, she's like, okay. like that, and I I really didn't like Jamie in this one. Um, that's the main reason why I didn't like Halloween 5, is because of Jamie, she became death. Like, I get how she became death, because she screamed, real, like, really she screamed a lot over that Halloween night, and, you know, uh, she really gets the sense. Lori didn't really get the sense that, uh, Jamie did. She kind of was, she felt, uh, Michael Myers' present in this one. She's like, I know that he's coming back. Um, but then he, Michael Myers in that homeless shelter for about a year, and then you see him falling down the river and everything, um, yeah, after Halloween 4, when you get revealed how Michael Myers came back, it was just a little weird. And I didn't see the revenge of Michael Myers in this one. Like, I didn't see any revenge in this one, much of it. So I don't even know why this one was called Halloween Revenge of Michael Myers. I think it should have just been called Halloween 5, because I don't see the revenge part. And the ending was stupid. So you see this... I'm, I'm going to talk about this first. You see this black guy throughout the film um, a couple of times. You see him in the beginning, see him in the middle a little bit. And then at the ending, he kills all these police officers and then just takes Michael Myers out of the cell. And it just so, so stupid, such a stupid ending. I mean, um, really, really, just really, what a stupid ending. Um, and it doesn't make sense to me when Michael Myers was kept in captivity. Don't want to spoil it for you. In Halloween 2018, for 40 years, nobody came for him. But in this one, he shot down literally every police officer and blew the cell. Michael Myers is out. Um, and then J you just don't see anything else from Jamie in this after this one. She doesn't get killed. You don't know what happens. And I just don't like when Halloween ends with a ending where they never make a sequel to it. They never uh, go on and they and then they say, okay, this is official. This is what happened ending. Let's get on to the next sequence. But they instead, they make a bunch of endings like, um, we will never find out what happens after that. Uh, so it's kind of stupid uh, that they would do that. Um, yeah, so really bad ending and then how the i really don't understand how the mask changed from this drugstore mask to a mask with this freakishly long hair um and it all it did was go through the river and was sat down for only like a year that that's it and then the mask was already like the hair was long everything changed about the mask really really fast uh but instead let's get on to number four Huge, huge spoiler alert, and this number four is going to be Halloween 2018, or as I, I like to call it, Halloween 40 years later. So, those of you who might have watched it at this point, those of you who have, haven't, please go away. Let's, let's break this one down. So, um, I thought that this one was a little fast-paced when I was watching it. I thought that it just went too fast-paced for me, um... But Lori was really, really smart in this one. And that's what I like to see about Lori is when she's really smart. Um, and she she was very protective. Um, but seeing Lori out in the community and she's struggling didn't make sense to me that much. Um, if you know what I'm saying, I just don't really see Lori ever going out again after what happened that one night. Just that one night terrified her. Um, but um, the people who were recording Lori and they were trying to, you know, talk to Lori about everything, they were really good. I, I like them as characters. But the one thing I didn't like about this movie is that they kept showing, they didn't show the full face of Michael Myers, but they kept showing like a side reveal of how old he was and everything. And I just didn't like seeing Michael Myers like that. I'm like, this old Michael Myers killing everybody like this, don't really like it. 
kind of bad. And I was excited for that bus scene part where they escaped. And I got somewhat of a surprise out of it. I thought that the killed police officers out of it was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, there were some surprises, not a lot. Um, the, the characters that played in it from a while ago, like you had the police officer from the actual original film who played in it, actually got killed because that stupid doctor who was like, I'm Michael Myers' doctor, was such a psycho. I didn't like, like, I didn't like him at all. And there's some characters that I didn't like at all in this film. But they did make some jokes in this film, which was funny, but I thought, well, it doesn't suit with a horror film where they make jokes like this. It was, there, there was funny jokes, but it just, just didn't suit for me uh, with Halloween. If I was watching another movie or something, yes, I would get it. But in this film, where they're adding jokes, I was like, hmm. I don't really like the concept of them adding uh, jokes to it. Um, so yeah, there were some good characters. Michael Myers being the little face reveal didn't. I really didn't like that. But the insane asylum was pretty cool. The people were psycho, and um, Michael Myers progressively got stronger in this one. Uh, he stomped on that guy's face one stomp, and he's already dead. Um, Michael Myers was also very sneaky in this one. He happened to kill four people in a gas station without anybody noticing. And it was like in the middle of, um, well, I think a small town pr probably. Um, the kills were, weren't bad at all. He used knives and yeah, he twisted off people, like he choked people and everything. Yeah, the kills were medium, pretty cool. Uh, Michael Myers was really, I think, I thought he was really strong in this one, but then we need to talk about the ending. So the ending where, uh, Lori Strode has this little hiding space for her daughter and, um, her granddaughter, and then they trap Michael Myers, uh, at the ending because they, they tried to trick Michael Myers, uh, when, um, and then he just got, uh, burnt in the thing, and he got, he went on fire because she threw, like, some kind of dynamite down there, I don't know what, but Lori was pretty smart in this one, but yet that ending, though, but then when they go out in the car, the security camera shows the inside of the basement part, the little hiding space where she's got all her guns hiding down there, it's when you really saw the intensity of, um, Lori, um, so, the end, but then, when you look at the security cameras, Michael Myers is not there anymore. Uh, he just vanished. Uh, he didn't even, I don't even think he even went on fire. He was just staring at them. And then, next thing you know, when you look on the security cameras, he's just gone. I'm sorry, guys, if I have to make a second part of this video. So, if this video stops, please don't blame me. I'll probably just make another part of the video, and I'll try to explain what's going on. Because, like, I think I made this video a little long. I'm sorry if I made this video long. But yeah, that's Halloween 2018. Um, the ending, yeah. Like, I just don't like how they keep making these sequels where you just don't know. Michael Myers just disappears, comes back, and nothing happens after that. So yeah, number four is going to be Halloween 2018. So number three, Halloween 4. The only bad thing, the real, the real bad thing about this one was the mask. Yes, it was an emotionless faceless drugstore mask that he literally got from a drugstore. Um, just, it looked kind of funny and not very scary. But if you put beside the fact of that, Michael Myers was really, really strong in this one. He threw Brady across the landscape, uh, sticking that girl up with a shotgun. He did some pretty creative kills in this. And I really do enjoy this movie. Um, I never... Like, if I watch it on disc, it always glitches out, so I have to watch it on TV if I ever, could, ever can get the chance. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed Halloween, uh, The Return of Michael Myers, better than The Revenge. And I get why, I actually get why this one was called The Return of Michael Myers. People are getting mad, and they're like, dude, we've been waiting like 10, like, well, actually, they were waiting about 9 years, or 7 years. Uh, they're like, dude, we've been waiting 7 years we don't want this other stupid Halloween 3 season of the witch film. We want Michael Myers back. 
Like, we want the main concept. And they got Michael Myers back. And I think they got a pretty good variation of Michael Myers, except for the mask. Um, but I think uh, something Wilbur. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've looked up the names of each one. But um, uh, I believe it's P.B. Wilbur or something who played him. He also played as the Curse of Michael Myers. Um, uh, so, yeah, I really enjoyed this one. Um I felt that it was way better. Jamie was a lot better than um, in Halloween 5. Yeah, everything was just a lot better than Halloween 5. Because Halloween 5 was a sequel to Halloween 4. I just felt that everything was better. The ending was okay. Uh, you know, you get shot into the grave and everything. It wasn't like one of those endings where you, you he just comes back alive. You know, you think he's dead, but then he comes back, you know. Um, so yeah, I really do enjoy this kind of Michael Myers. And that's why I like Halloween 4. So number two, Halloween 2, and I still love Halloween 2. And then, But then the stupid reason why the mask changed in this one. Because the one of the ex executive producers, I believe, um, Deborah Hill, left the mask in a shoebox, and then it turns into this uh, one mask. The mask looked good in this one, but then it just, you could... Definitely tell the change between the first mask and this one. The kills were very great. He killed a lot of people in this one. And I'd say that out of those kills, a lot of them were really, really good. Michael Myers uh, was strong in this one. I loved Jamie. She wasn't bad at all. Um, I loved how it was in a hospital. You know, Jamie going in the hospital. You didn't see much of Jamie in this one, though, which was the sad thing. Um, that's the only sad thing about it, is you didn't see much of Jamie. But there were some cute characters, good characters. Not really any dumb characters, I would say. There, there's some dumb characters, but not very many. Um, and, but yeah, that's as much as I can say about Halloween 2. And I definitely think you guys can already understand why I liked Halloween 2. So, as you guys can all predict, number one is Halloween. Um, the original. I still love the original Halloween. Um, and I don't think I'll ever get tired of this one the kills were great michael was probably the smartest out of any other michael in the films this one he was the smartest the characters uh were really 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 awesome um i loved i love i like when the girls are like high school girls that you would think of not just innocent girls they're like these uh you know really really messed up girls who like to um that they like to um be bad you know what I, you know what i'm saying um and i understand why halloween 2018 made jokes and everything because it's 2018 most movies are going to have jokes in them um but ha the original halloween the mask was great especially that one face my th my youtube account profile is that that awesome scene with michael myers looking over the staircase um I loved when Michael. I love when Michael Myers drives and stalks um, all the characters in this one. Uh, he was so smart. He was so strong. You didn't have to see the evil. You just had to describe the evil. You didn't even have to see how violent he was to know how evil he was. Because Doctor Loomis was describing him as we don't. We don't even know why he's evil. Um, uh, and yeah. I think we can all agree that the original was the best, and a lot of, of movies for the original is the best. So that was my ranking. I'm going to add in some pictures to this one um, of each one so, so you can see what the Michael Myers looked like and everything. So hopefully I didn't spoil anything for you. If you did have seen the uh, Halloween 2018, you can watch all of this. Um, or at least if you have seen every film, but... Um, so yeah, that was my ranking on the Halloween films. I've made a different opinion on it. Um, so I, I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it's quite a long video. Um, but yeah, you're looking up to some pretty, some awesome new videos. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. I did enjoy the new Halloween film. Wasn't so bad, but I just don't like the ending yet. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. And peace.